Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Welcome back to Abstract Medicine. I hope you're all doing well. I felt called cool to do a general reading for all of you today. General reading. So we're going to be having a look at whatever spirit wants us to hear. So I just want to take a moment um, with you all to um, hold space for my friend Magali. She's a friend of Abstract Medicine and um, her father passed away just a few hours ago. And I'd like for us to all hold space for his smooth transition into paradise, please. Thank you. For Magali's papa. Okay, so it is done. So, as you know, I posted the pick a card March predictions. So you can have a look and see what's going on in your situation for March, for generally what's going on with the energies for March for you, what's going on in your money uh, sector, your career, um, your path as well as your job and then lastly we have the love and romance section as well so that's for each pile so generally speaking let's have a look look and see what spirit would like us to read on today spirit thank you for the messages for the collective we have the six of one no we have the six of swords here the six of swords as you can see here it's quite a bright beautiful day here in the countryside um, so you may or may not be able to see the cards, but I'm sure you'll be able to see them or at least hear what I'm saying. So the six of swords, let's see what else, what else is spirit wanting us to have a look at? I'll take these, okay. We have the nine of cups, we have the hanged man, we have the son of pentacles, um, we have the eight of wands, and we have the Four of Cups. So a lot of these cards did come up in the Picker Cards, uh, Picker Piles for March. So there could be a continuing message there. Okay. Um, okay. Let's get some more cards. Something didn't work out. Something didn't work out for some of you. We have the High Priestess. You may... Your intuition may have been um, altered somehow. So some of you may have been getting an upgrade with your intuition. So congratulations with that, because that's always a good thing, I would say. Um, but there's something here with the Six of Swords that's kind of... Um, Calling my attention the most because it came out first. So moving on to a new beginning, a transition, a change. There could also be a rite of passage here or releasing baggage. Um, okay, so they want me to talk to you about something that happened to me last night. So I was watching this series, um, which I started watching, which is actually really good, by the way. Um, it's Carnival Row and I actually really like, I really enjoy watching it. I just started the season, season one. And um, I put it on pause for a moment and I went back to YouTube on the studio, YouTube studio to make sure that the timestamps for the March readings were up once the video was uploaded. So I did that, but as I was doing it, I... There was no, there was no music, there was no sound, but I could hear celestial music. I could hear celestial music. <laughs> so I was walking around in my house going, where is this music coming from? And it was kind of like a hum and it kind of, kind of went up and down and it was a choir. It was a choir. And so I looked, I, I, I just put my ear by the wall to hear if, um, you know, my house is completely detached, so I don't have any houses attached to my house. So, you know, but I was trying to find out where was this music coming from, whether it was my neighbours or not. Sure enough, nothing. No music from my neighbours at all. And 
I knew it was celestial. I knew it was celestial and I hadn't heard celestial music in a long time. I think, I mean, honestly, years, years and years and years. And it was just beautiful. It was just so beautiful. And um, what I did um, a few hours before I heard that, or even an hour before, I lit a candle and put it in my altar. So my altar is where all my the pictures of my loved ones are in, in spirit, but also um, in in real life as well, who are living still today. So I lit a candle and the music basically was coming through the area where my altar is and spirit was telling me that I have a portal there so there's a portal energy uh, of where my staircase is and where my altar is and that's where the music was coming from and it was just so beautiful so celestial and I thought I'd share that with you because um, spirit wants me to share it with you but also this is something that you may also be receiving so i do feel like this is a very magical time i mean i know that alex miles on instagram um wrote about that you know about there being major upgrades uh during this kind of like solar storm uh there's a conjunct between jupiter and venus at this time lots of loving energy lots of um good luck expansion energy as well which i've been mentioning in the readings lately too and i feel here with a hanged the hanged man and the high priestess uh there's something that you've got to sort of like um play pay close attention to pay close attention to okay we've got the daughter of pentacles let's get another three more cards we have the three of wands we have the strength card This is the Wild Unknown Tarot deck, by the way, by Kim Krantz, for those of you who are wanting to purchase this deck as well. And we're also going to be using the Major Arcana by Frida Designs. All the information for all the cards I use are usually, usually, <laughs> majoritively, usually in the description below, in the description box under the video. Uh, and then we have the Three of Cups. Let's have a look at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Cups and Judgment. Okay. Okay, so you have the Son of Pentacles, the Three of Wands. Um, you know, to be honest, to be honest, what I'm feeling here is slow energy, and also just heard slow rise. So there's slow energy here of a new beginning taking place because the the first card that we had is about new beginnings and transitions and moving forwards, moving away possibly, moving away from um, low vibrational sounds, low vibrational people. And there's also an energy energy of majesty here, you know, here with the uh, with the big cats. We have um, the tiger and we have the lion here. So there's energy of um, holding strong in your belief systems and your belief, but also having that regal majesty within it, where, where it's kind of just essentially innate. With the three of wands, it's about a waiting period, a waiting time. And also being a little bit crafty with um, crafty in the sense of paying attention to the close detail with um, with whom you share your emotions. Now, the four of cups typically uh, typically is all about, um, you know, missed opportunities usually, but um, but also I would say not seeing things for really what, what it is. And maybe it's also an energy of giving up. So maybe there's been, there's an energy of um, giving up here, giving up on something or someone or a situation that you may have found victory maybe in your past. Um, but to be honest, I kind of get the sense that to not give up on your spirituality, to not give up on your intuition. There's also this energy in your future where you could be, or presently, you could be seeing 33. 33 is going to be very significant for a lot of you who are resonating with the messages so far. Very strong Leo energy here, which is interesting because my friend Magali, who I mentioned earlier, is a Leo. So we have uh, Leo energy here and uh, Pisces energy here very strongly with the Strength card and the High Priestess, don't we? And Pisces here with a hangman as well. 
Um, but there's this energy of, uh, of quiet, of solitude, and really being in the divine feminine energy, but also in the divine masculine energy in balance. So I feel like there's an energy of waiting, waiting. Um, there's also this energy of someone who doesn't want to give up or miss an opportunity with you, for those of you who are on the um, high vibrational divine counterpart journey. Uh, there's a strong feminine energy here and a masculine energy here. But the feminine energy may have um, found respite or bliss uh, within her, um, regardless of gender, but within her feminine energies, but also within her spiritual community, uh, within, you know, uh, tapping into her intuition, her dream space. It's the energy of uh, Pisces season, which is what we're in right now. Very magical, very magical season. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Pisces myself. Shout out to Pisces. Also shout out to Beth. Um, Beth is an abstract medicine friend and her birthday was just a couple of days ago. So happy birthday to Beth as well, who is also making beautiful candles. And we are also going to be showcasing some of her I won't I won't sh I won't share exactly what they are but her her candles uh, here on the tarot table soon so there's also that too where you're the feminine energy so let me divide this into two energies here so you know take the resonate take the messages as they resonate so far so a lot of you are moving away from situations that you know are a bit heavy here with the rain with the rain dripping down and looking towards a brighter day. And I'm hearing that Bill Withers song, um, A Bright, A Lovely Day. Uh, a lovely day, lovely day. Um, yeah, and it's just such a beautiful high vibrational energy. But a lot of you feminines, divine feminines, are focusing on your spirituality or withdrawing your energy from society or even from low vibrational energy that is just kind of grating and uh, hard, hard work to deal with. Um, there's also this energy of those of you who are not are just not wanting to explain yourselves or explain your spirituality or explain your um your interests uh, to people that just don't get it they either understand it or they don't and i also see that the feminine energies divine feminines are really focusing on you know this this healing healing from um you know maybe upsetting people for their spiritual beliefs uh, just by just by being, <laughs> just by being alive. Um, There's also this energy of a kind of like a, a witch hunt um, paradigm, let's say, that may be coming up for some of the feminines here, uh, where a lot of a lot of us who uh, believe in past lives were hunted for our spiritual beliefs. Beliefs, um, and this goes for the masculine energy too. You know, in terms of wizards, but I feel most most likely it's the feminine energies that where that the reason why you're not you're moving away from people who don't understand your spiritual beliefs or spiritual um, interests or even your um practices as well and uh and also just like beth as well for example creating candles uh which is part of this you know um you know life path energy of bringing light candles bringing light to the world but also it's um it's so much more it's part of a a spiritual practice um those who don't understand those things you know you're moving away from those energies and you know it's because in the past those people had let you down they'd broken your heart you know in a love situation they may have betrayed you as well here with the three of swords it's kind of the energy of like, anxiety and really you know heartbreaking uh, pain so i do see that for the feminines you're moving away from that and you're holding back your energy uh and particularly from people who just don't get it you know um and you're moving to a brighter day now with the son of pet son of wands here uh, a lot of you are tapping into your intuition a lot of you are also receiving guidance from your third eye very very strongly and a lot of you at this time are also going through a spiritual awakening uh in particularly a kundalini rising so uh, it will ch it will be different from most people. The Kundalini awakening is very different from most people, but uh, you could be experiencing that. You could also be experiencing a lot of UFO um, experiences as well, um, and um, you could be astral traveling and having lots of lucid dreaming um, and conversations as well with non-human beings as well. 
and I feel like these non-human beings they are benevolent I feel like in the past they may not have been so benevolent but I see that for the feminine energies in particular divine feminines these beings are benevolent because you're you've been healing so basically what this is saying to me is because you've been clearing out your energy and you've been purging your energy of low vibrational people in the physical world in the spiritual world you are now attracting high vibrational beings as guides to communicate to you in the astral world in the spiritual world in your lucid dreamings as well and and that's why and therefore you are attracting uh, high vibrational beings and guides to you before you were attracting low vibrational beings because your energy, your physical energy, your light body was not fully clear. Okay. Um, some of you may also be looking at the crystal ball as well for insight. You may be looking at uh, pyromancy in terms of uh, fire reading as well as hydromancy, which is water reading. You may also be interested in reading cups, you know, coffee cups as well. Um, and looking at new ways and different ways of, um, you know, new new divination tools as well. So I've actually been looking into, I think energetically, I've been interested in that. In that. So for example, palmistry, um, there's also that too. Um, and um, yeah, there is that too. Daughter of Pentacles is also this energy of a gift um, that you're sharing, but some of you are holding back a gift that you're sharing. I don't necessarily don't necessarily know what this could be, but uh, this is of a spiritual nature. Maybe it's also not the right time to share this new gift uh, into the world just yet because maybe people aren't ready. So it's a bit about holding back and just waiting until the portal is fully open here. With the three of wands and the son of pentacles yeah we do have a spiritual gift here with the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles which is a double new new energy here which is really beautiful um yeah there's this energy here of uh, of double new beginnings so something spiritual something emotional that you're um you're conjuring that you're you're sort of harnessing in the spiritual world you will be bringing into the physical world as a tangible tool as a tangible uh, medicine this could be plant medicine this could be a new divination as well for some of you as well um, but it's not quite the right time you, you have a sense of it it's not quite the right time to share that just yet now let's have a look at the masculine divine masculine energies here okay we have the world card uh let's see what else there is the mother of cups okay so the divine masculine um energies um it's looking it's looking positive very positive indeed for those of you who are dealing with divine masculine in love um this would be a great signification significator uh for love um because we have this lion here who has a rose in between their mouth here and we have the eight of wands so there could be divine masculine energy uh, very strongly coming forward in your present future i would say very soon i would say even by the summer months here with wands energy fire energy doubled here with a lion energy which, which is a fire sign uh that is coming back around um and after having completed you know a full cycle here a full chapter in their life uh with work with a relationship or whatever that may be in their past uh, because it wasn't quite the right time here with the son of pentacles talks about talks about timing and the three of wands is about waiting for the right portal for the right opening to um to open up okay um there is progress being made behind the scenes and this is something that um that you may not necessarily know about but there is progress behind the scenes you know when when a seed is planted it's it's germinated and then all these all sort of magic basically uh, uh, is experienced but is not necessarily seen below the surface of the ground so i feel like this is what's been happening behind the scenes here we also have this energy of um fast energy here with the eight of wands we've got this energy of fast movement uh lots of love messages here doubled with this rose as well romance love love messages interesting how we have number eight here and we also have 
eight here um, as an infinity sign. So some of you may, that may be very symbolic as a tattoo. You may be thinking about that as well as a tattoo. Um, I also just want to go back to the feminine energy is that tattoo, you know, doing the tatao uh, as a sacred act, as a sacred modality even, or as a sacred um, um, activation is part of your spiritual process and uh, progress as well, by the way. So, you, you, you know, divine masculine could also have an infinity symbol as well as a tattoo. Number eight could also be significant as a date or a number. Um, or a door number even but yeah we have this uh, this energy of a major completion taking place here and success accomplishment um as well as as well as uh movement and air travel here doubled air traveled with the world and the eight of wands so there could be someone at a distance from you um, who's wanting to you know bridge the gap between you possibly um, uh, because they see the divine feminine, uh, if this is in, you know, resonating with you so far as a very compassionate, very psychic, again, Pisces cancer energy here, a very psychic, very compassionate, um, individual who could be, um, a wonderful mother, a wonderful parent, regardless of gender, uh, to their children, um, or to children that, um, they would like to have, you know? Um, there is celebration here with the Three of Cups in this part of the reading and the Four of Cups is basically making sure that the Divine Masculine um, is is letting go, is letting go of a uh, Mother of Wands, is letting go of a past relationship with whom they've had children or a toxic ex as well possibly. Yeah, because they've seen the light and they've had clarity and there is truth coming. There's a message coming here after a difficult cycle, after betrayal, possible, possibly. Um, there is also masculine energy here that is receiving high accolades, I would say, uh, for a job well done, for uh, running the gauntlet, for sticking through this journey in the divine uh, high vibrational counterpart energies uh the journey some 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 will continue with the journey and some won't in terms of divine love some will let go of the journey um but there is strong passion here for divine masculine so divine masculines are very much in the in their fire in their uh, in the energy of action in the energy of inspiration and wanting a new opportunity whereas the divine feminines are really in their um whimsical or emotional spiritual creative as well as their um stable and abundant um energies okay there's also this uh, side message here to not give up um before before the dawn so there is an energy of the darkest it, it's usually the darkest before the dawn here okay so there's an energy of both both energies uh, moving on here okay now i'm going to move these cards out the way and see what other messages um are going to come through for the collective so again, we have this energy of moving forwards, moving away from fears, moving away from anxieties. Wow, Mother of Swords, Father of Swords. Interesting. This came out in, uh, I think it was Pile 2 in the March readings. We have Father of Pentacles, the Daughter of Swords. A lot of air energy. Wow. Okay. Let's get some more. Uh, yeah, a lot of you are also blocking people who aren't doing the work as well. Um, interesting, this has been coming up in my conversations as well. Um, but yeah, I do see that there is uh, an energy of moving on from people, move, moving away from people, blocking people, blocking your energy um, from people who are just not doing the work here with the Seven of Pentacles. Um, you know... You're looking at your long term, you're looking at your future, you're looking at what's sustainable, you're looking at what's not sustainable, you're looking at what, how, you know, whether you want to invest your energies with people um, who aren't confronting their fears here. With the moon energy, it's very strong Pisces, Cancer, for some readers it's Scorpio as, way, as well. The moon is about the way ahead, um, it may be foggy, so watch your step here. Um, so we have the moon of the energy of the mother, the energy of the maternal instinct, the energy of the unknown, the energy of illusions as well. Yeah? So they, maybe in your past, you, 
you may have been um, under the illusion that people were doing the work, that people were investing in their future, that people were persevering and perfecting themselves and um, polishing their own, you know, doing the work. Um, that maybe, maybe now you're moving away from people who are just too much in their fear, too much in the illusion, too much in the Maya, in the illusion of this, uh, of this life, of this uh, so-called reality. And you're wanting a new beginning. Um, a lot of you are also being quite blunt and, uh, and, and, and clear with your, with your communication. Um, and it's because you are being correct and you are in your integrity. Uh, your word is your bond as well as um, you're being integral with your word here. The Father of Swords is is also that energy of authority and uh, of being of being clear, of being intelligent and uh, of being someone who's respected. And so it's not something that you push respect onto others and force that respect uh, to be given. It's about imbuing that energetically. There's also an energy of intimidation here as well. Now, some of you are already in a power couple dynamic here. And this it just goes to say that some of you are also air signs, sun, moon or rising, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or Venus and Mars, Aries, um, sorry, energy, air energy. Some of you may also be Aries and uh, sun and uh, Cancer, Scorpio or even Pisces, sun. Um, but there's an element of air in your um, in your chart where you're being maybe even a little bit blunt, a little bit aloof as well here. And this is necessary because there's a need to maybe sometimes emotionally detach yourselves from people. Um, being clear, having mental clarity, having intellectual power and prowess, I have to say. Being an authority figure as well as being someone who's very um, unbiased. And I would say also um, like unperturbed, you know, unperturbed, um, not bothered, you know. Um, very, very in independent and having very clear boundaries here, uh, as well as having direct communicate communication, is which is what I mentioned earlier. Now, the Father of Pentacles is also, these could be two, um, two mentors that you have, maybe as uncles, maybe as a father, maybe as a father figure. Uh, and these are energies that um, maybe you're gaining advice from these people um, who are people that you can be trusted and here as a daughter of swords maybe you are you are a mentee of their advice or of their intellectual um intellectual teachings or understanding or wisdom or knowledge here um very earthy energy as well as air energy here so virgo capricorn taurus could also be significant There's also this energy of building wealth, uh, going to a professional, going to someone who's in a position of power and leadership um, so that you can get information, you can get insight about how to build your wealth, your business, your finances, your stability here as well. And then with the Daughter of Swords, it's this energy of studying. Um, I feel like you could be a mentee as well. Um, You could also be gaining new ideas uh, or finding a, this one, having this thirst for knowledge about your business, about your wanting to be a leader in your own right as well in business. Uh, we have the chariot energy here. OK, so we have this energy of fast movement and success. Now, it's interesting. This card came out in my daily pull for me personally. Um, I pulled this card where you are now. You, the, the goal that you've set for yourself that you may have been in fear over strong cancer energy again um is actually now coming to this energy of success so you're overcoming it and it's about staying focused and remaining focused here chariot the chariot is masculine energy for me as a reader and the pisces cancer energy with the moon is feminine energy so maybe you've been receiving information you've been receiving downloads and now it's a time to go gung-ho and, uh, and move forward. So the time of uh, over-studying, the time of over-perfecting, the, the time of... Um the time of study is is now at an end. It's now it's you've now mastered it, whatever that thing may have been. So you're going forward towards it. This could also be moving towards um, moving away from people um, as well. Uh, as I mentioned, that were very, very low vibrational. 
there's this energy of strong Scorpio here with the death card where um, you may have been letting go of people who also just haven't been doing the work in terms of their trauma. So, you know, when, when you have trauma, it's about, you know, alchemizing that trauma into something that can be a beneficial teaching to yourself, but also that you share to the world as an act of service. So for those who are still stuck in that trauma mindset and stuck in that victim mentality, it can be very negative uh, for your energy. So you're moving away from those people. Um, you've also learned something from these dark nights of the soul, um, these transformative periods of your life as well. And so you're, uh, you're, you're, you're actually kind of using using those negative or low vibrational painful experiences as something that you're going to be talking about communicating about as well in your future uh, with love and here we have a new beginning can also involve a creative pursuit as well here with the ace of cups you know so this energy again with the ace of cups that came in with the feminine energy which is interesting it came in under the mother of swords um there's this energy of the feminine divine feminine energies where you're sharing your your experiences of your past through teaching vocally, through music, um, in a loving way, in a, in a creative way as well, or even through, say, for example, like myself, I have a po I have a podcast called Hype A, where we talk about these things too, whatever those topics may be. Interesting, the strength card has come out again, which is interesting, the masculine energy. We have the father of swords, so um, interesting. So we have a masculine energy who is now very clear with what they want in their mind, but also in the heart space. Now, remember uh, that Leo energy is all about the heart space, you know, about love, about their pride, you know, so letting go of their egoic pride, but also actually thinking about their family pride. And I feel like the masculine energy is very clear with what it is that they want and is moving away from trauma, away from a lack mentality mindset. They've also been transforming themselves um, and and releasing fear, you know. They maybe have been, have been releasing a fear or trauma about their own mothers or women in their lives as well who may have been abu abusive um as well so they're moving forward okay and they're they're being the man in their life they're being the masculine energy in their life that they wish to be and again we have the ace of wands and you're seeing me shuffle and pull the cards at will they have this very strong will they have a very strong desire to be a stable masculine you know so for example uh, i have a friend of mine who uh, went to a a funeral which was very difficult for them to deal with because this funeral um was for their really good friend that felt like a brother they were essentially a brother from another mother so i mentioned to him like jordan peterson be that man at the funeral um be that shoulder to cry on when everyone is just completely in bits and broken be that strong person um and so i feel like he was that um, but yeah, that's, it's this energy of just like being that shoulder to cry on, be that masculine, that divine masculine energy of showing up, yeah, showing up and, and being strong and courageous. It doesn't mean that you're blocking your emotions. You can, you can transform and uh, channel your emotions in a different light, being an open vessel for others to, to share their light and their emotions and their tears even. I also do see that the masculines are also being a little bit more vulnerable you know uh, a little bit more vulnerable with the rose in their mouth here a bit, little bit more vulnerable and open to love here yeah so there's a strong desire sexually as well there's a strong will to be stable to be strong um and it's not about a distorted um this this i just heard this uh fractured fractured masculine archetype it's about being um an individual with masculine energy and feminine energy, so receptive and active. And we're talking about masculine energy and we have the emperor that pulled out. So, you know, what I'm saying is uh, is really ringing true with all of the cards that are being pulled here. Um, it's about being the, the divine masculine, the one. So the ma divine masculine in terms of love and a love situation, for those of you who are resonating with this, whether you're in separation from your person, whether you are in a relationship with your person, whether you're married with this person, 
uh, whether you have children with this person or are yet to have children or yet to marry this person or yet to come into divine union, this divine masculine is really rising to the occasion and they're really coming into their true masculine energy. You know, this this divine mas this masculine is also healing uh, mother wounds, is healing mm, male father wounds as well, and they are becoming the true essence of what they wish to be in their masculine archetype, which is absolutely beautiful. And it takes courage here with the strength card Leo energy. It takes courage to cut people out that are toxic, essentially. It takes courage to move away from a situation, a relationship that is just not in their best interest. It's a low vibrational, especially when there's children involved and there's a house and family involved here. This person has taken courage to move away from that and they are really now in their integrity. I feel that their energy is very strong here. And the Daughter of Swords is an energy of... Um, or someone who's wanting to communicate um, and who's curious, uh, has a thirst for knowledge, but also wanting to have a new way of communicating with you. And that new way of communication is coming through. We have clarity coming through. We have truth coming through. We have a breakthrough coming through. So we do have a message coming through soon for a lot of you. So be prepared for that um, after a time of... Um, no communication and we have the sun of swords the wheel of fortune and the nine of uh, cups that's also winking here so we have this energy of um you know great luck is coming your way after a, maybe a long time many many months many years even um where this this wasn't happening um where this masculine the divine masculine was not showing up um for their kind, for their tribe, for their family, now they are because they're realizing they're realizing a lot of things. They're realizing that time and life is of great importance, um, that you are of great importance to them, and um, that they're feeling. To be honest, they're feeling a bit more secure in themselves. They're feeling a bit more trustworthy of their own feelings they're feeling trusting of their feelings they're feeling trusting trustworthy of uh, of you they're feeling uh they want to trust they want to open up their heart um they're understanding that uh they don't have to be holding back emotionally that they can be open they're also keeping an eye on you um one way or another through social media through the internet through uh checking checking you out through family or asking about you through you know mutual friends or family um they have different ways of doing that but i i just get this very strong sense that they're feeling more emotionally fulfilled and they're feeling more whole within themselves and uh, emotionally open and this to be honest has been a wish come true to them for them to feel more emotionally balanced and uh to be honest, they're feeling proud of themselves. They're proud of what they've achieved. They're proud of their, their career, their jobs as well. And with the Wheel of Fortune, there's this energy of great luck. They're feeling lucky. They're feeling that luck is in their favour. They're feeling like spirit is really helping them out. They're understanding the signs. They're appreciating that all of these signs and synchronicities have been for a reason. And it hasn't just been some mumbo jumbo random woohoo thing um they've been missing you a lot they've been disappointed with how whatever situation you've been you've been experiencing with them they've been disappointed about what's happened um and um i thought with number five 55 could also be an age of great importance of importance here um they've been going through great change great challenges uh difficulties and they have been um sorry the five of wands if i said a five cent five of pent five of swords i apologize i meant the five of wands um they're feeling uh they have been con they were conflicted before they were maybe you had an argument with them or conf you know you had some sort of conflict or argument or row or um it just ended badly there was tension you know in the air between you um there may have also been um they may have not been seeing you in the right light now they are and you know there was a missed opportunity before now they're seeing you as you know their wish fulfillment or at least a wish that they they want to they wish to to, to have to hold to experience and i'm hearing the vows i'm now hearing the um the wedding vows great great desire here with the son of wands and again we have the mother of cups so no surprise these cards keep coming out 
and they see you as very compassionate emotional spiritually awakened and they want to do you justice as well i would say uh yeah and look we have the pet the empress peeking out and we have the um the ace of pentacles as well peeking out too so uh, for those of you who don't have children with this person they're now ready to and they want to they want to have they want to make that <laughs> make that happen physically sexually emotionally spiritually as well um they have a lot of desire to be honest i feel like all of their elements are balanced um they're, they're wanting to have a, a fresh new start with you in particular um yeah that's what i'm seeing um mainly mainly it's all it's about love um and some other things but i also see that both of you have been moving away from or just generally you are people who are are tapping into these messages where you're feeling more aligned with yourself with who you are and you're attracting your tribe essentially your vibe attracts your tribe and and you are balancing you're balancing uh your masculine and feminine energies and you're becoming your true archetype whether it's feminine archetype or masculine archetype that we have the chariot and the hermit so after a time of solace and um you know spiritual um being a spiritual recluse there is great change happening there's great movement happening there could also be great travel happening as well doubled with the six of swords and the seven of uh, of the chariot here and again we have the strength card so um you know i don't feel like a lot of you who are single at this time i don't feel like you're going to be single for very much longer i feel like there's going to be uh, a change in your in your status here there's going to be a change in your um in your um what's the word yeah in your status so whether you're single you're going to be you're going to be in a marriage soon or in a commitment a high level commitment and there is something that is manifesting behind the scenes, as I mentioned before, that you may not necessarily see. You may have detached your energy completely from a masculine. Uh, there's also this energy of um, congratulations for doing all of the spiritual work that you have been doing. It takes courage to move away from people, especially for those of you who've been in groups of people, groups with people who you've known for a long, long time that are just not good for you, like a bad habit, like eating McDonald's every day. It's not great for you. Um, every day, like once in a while, fine. But, you know, it's like that. So Spirit wants to congratulate you and commend you for moving away from these energies because um, there's a level of comfort, but actually it's a level, a, a level of false comfort. Here's what I'm picking up on, uh, which you were also picking up on. So you've let go of those people and you decided to you know, move away from those people because they were just bringing your vibe down. Um, you may have actually moved away physically and or even moved to the next town, uh, moved to another country. You wanted to grab life by the horns so that's what's happened and you know that's taken a lot of courage for you to do that virgo energy here cancer uh, as well as um gemini energy and leo strongly here so we have fast movement because you've been taking time you know slow energy hermit slow energy and your patience um, is also going to be rewarded now and it, everything is going to be expediated everything's going to be moving quickly for you if it's in terms of work you know you're going to be great you're going to be receiving great achievements in your line of work you're going to be receiving high accolades you're going to be receiving um, opportunities for your work and your career and your finances as well because you have been manifesting um, in your own time focusing on what you truly want and you know as above so below whatever you've been asking for spiritually speaking through your prayer um it's coming down into the physical realm in this world and uh you know hold strong a little bit a little bit further a little bit more um but there's also an energy of grace um there's a grace period as well so that you're experiencing so right now you are in a grace period so in between jobs possibly in between stages so you may not necessarily still see what's going on but um but i do see that you know there is a rainbow essentially on the other side of all of this change and um And this energy of the lion um, may may go without food for a week, you know, um, and it takes patience, but also tact to to really target 
you know, target their prey. And I feel like that's what's happening with you. It's like you're not sure when your next income is coming, when your next um, great opportunity is coming. But the fact that you're focused on it and the fact that you may be fasting as well at this time too um, is going to bring your abundance to you, whatever that may be. So I hope these messages have helped you on one way or another. This is a general collective reading for all of you. If you'd like a private session with me, you know where to find me, you can book directly on the website. Please do press the like button in this video and all my videos if they resonate with you. It's just a lovely exchange, it's free of charge. If you'd like to tip me, you can tip me on the tip jar. On my website under healing I have three tip jars um, as suggestions and I also have a PayPal if you would like to pay uh, through PayPal as a tip just ask me and I'll send you the PayPal link and uh, yeah that's all I have for you right now I'm wishing you so much love and light and blessings your way take care beautiful souls see you in the next reading bye for now